guys, today I want to talk to you about the difference between an MLM and a pyramid scheme. And there's so many out there, there's so many MLMs that I really want you to understand the difference before you get into it. So the number one thing you want to look out for is, is there a product to sell? If there's no product to sell, then clearly it's a pyramid scheme. So a pyramid scheme is when somebody says, okay, you give me a hundred dollars and then you have five friends and you, well, my bird's just got an attitude. Are you done? So a pyramid scheme is when somebody says, okay, you give me a hundred dollars and then you get five friends and they each get you a hundred dollars. So that gives you 500 and then they go and so on and so forth. Um, an MLM is different in the way that you are selling a product. That should be your main goal. Okay. Your main, uh, the main focus of the company should be the products they're selling, not recruitment. That should be secondary. So some good things to look for is, does your company pay you to recruit? So if you sign up, can you just then sit back and recruit other people to sign up and money keeps rolling in? That is a bad sign. That is a sign of a pyramid scheme. A good MLM, what they will do is, um, when you sign people up, you should get almost nothing to sign for them to sign up. What you will get money for is for those people that you've signed up to work. So what you're being paid to do is to train people. You're not being paid. We'll just have to ignore the birds. Sorry. Um, you're not getting paid to recruit. You're not getting paid to bring in new people to sign up for kits that give the company money. You're being paid to be a manager. So in any job that you have, you have supervisors, managers, people who are paid to train you and make sure that you're doing the best job possible. And that is why people get a percentage when they are in an MLM company. So um, usually the percentage that you get on the people that you recruit is really low. It's not an astronomical amount of money. It's like 5%. Um, and you have to train them and make sure that they are doing their job and make sure that they are doing a good job. It's incentive to make sure that you don't just sign up people and then walk away. You are doing your job and you are doing it well. Also in many MLMs and the good ones, you are required to sell a certain amount every month. So before you're able to get the money off the people below you. And that is so that again, you're not just signing people up for your company and then taking off. You are actively working your business and you are being a good role model for them and you're doing your job. So in any job that you have, you're going to have a supervisor, a manager, a boss, they're going to go up in the ranks, right? And that is the same as an MLM. You're going to go the ranks up and ranks down and you get paid based on how well you're doing your job, how well you are supervising and how well you are managing. Um, if you've never been in an MLM before, you probably wouldn't know this, but when you sign someone up uh, or sponsor them to join you, it's a lot of work because you want to make sure that you are training them the best that you can. You have to tell them how to use, um, you know, the back office, how to sell the product, how to, you know, everything that you have to be available all the time for their questions. Um, and you have to keep on inspiring them and keep giving them information. Um, if you are in an MLM company, your sponsor, your upline, the person right above you needs to be working their butt off for you. Basically they need to be, um, making sure that if you have a question, they're there ready with an answer. And if they don't have an answer, they will find it for you because that is their job. That is what they're getting that percentage for. It's not a huge percentage, 
but it is what they're doing or what they're getting for their job. Um, and you'll see if, see, if you sign up for something and your upline takes off, well, they're not going to see any profit. So um, it can't be a pyramid scheme in that way because you're not getting paid to recruit. Another thing that you kind of want to look out for, and this, this sort of has to do with um, MLM's pyramid schemes, is are you being asked to stock a lot of product? Because if you are, then that is a pyramid scheme in a way because you buying all that product is giving money to the person above you. So if the person above you is telling you, you need to buy, 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 you need to keep all this stock, you need to buy this certain amount every month, um, then yes, that is a pyramid scheme because you are buying more so that they'll make more and then the people below you and the people below you, you're telling them to buy more so that they can get more. So that is something you really want to look out for. Um, is your upline telling you to buy, buy, buy? Uh, that is definitely a red flag that you want to look out for. So I hope that answers some questions. I know that that's a really simplified way of saying it, but it is that simple. Do you have to sell a product? Are you um, getting paid to recruit? And do you have to carry a lot of stock? Those are the things really that you want to look out for to tell if your MLM is a pyramid.